Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Khan Media. In this video, we will talk about Janssen card or Opportunity card. Uh, I will tell uh, in detail about what is Opportunity card, how you can apply, uh, what are the basic requirements, who is eligible, and the application and visa process. So let's start with Opportunity card. First of all, you can see it's the official website of uh, Federal Foreign Office Germany where they have uh, given some information about the opportunity card. Uh, in the start, they have mentioned that it is the um, opportunity card is the residence permit that allows workers from third countries to enter Germany to seek employment or to or to search for jobs. And there is a two main requirements for opportunity card. If you have your degree or qualification, which is, is already recognized in Germany, then you, you are directly eligible for opportunity card. But if your degree is not recognized from Germany, then uh, you have to uh, score a minimum of six points in the point system, which we will discuss later that what are the categories in point system. Then you can see they have mentioned that you can apply opportunity card either online or through local German embassy in your country. It will be issued for a period of one year and if you have, uh, if you will uh, receive an employment contract during that time period that you can uh, convert or extend your opportunity card to your blue card or residence permit. So here they have mentioned the basic requirements in more detail and uh, first of all you have to show German government that you have enough uh, financial means to cover your living expenses uh, for the duration of your stay in Germany. You can show this in the um, by uh, by means of block amount. Uh, the second thing is if your degree, uh, you have a degree or vocational qualification, you have to check if your degree is already in the list of the recognized uh, degrees in Germany. How you can check it? You For this, you can watch a video on our YouTube channel about check if your degree is recognized in Germany by Anabin database system. This is the official database of Germany where uh, all the degrees of other countries or the universities are mentioned and here you can just uh, uh, follow the video and follow the process. You can check if your degree is already in the list or not. If your degree is already in the list, then you are directly eligible for applying opportunity card and then you can skip that other requirement. But if your degree is not in that list, then you have to recognize your degree uh, from German government. So for this, you can again watch a video, ZAB degree recognition in Germany, statement of comparability. Here, this is a, some uh, lengthy process and you have to apply and you have to send your documents. So simply you have you can watch this video and then you will you will have an idea how you can recognize your degree uh, uh, from your country to uh, in Germany. So for the second point, uh, second uh, requirement uh, in which you will have to recognize your degree from a from German government, you also have to uh, you will you will get some points, and but you still have to uh, um, you still have to get six points to be eligible for opportunity card. So we will see in detail how you can uh, get those six points. So there they have mentioned the different categories of point system. Uh, the first one is recognition of your degree. Uh, for this, I already I already uh, mentioned a video on our channel that is ZAB degree recognition. By following this this method, you can recognize your degree and you will get four points, not six, not all six points, but you will only get four points and you still have to uh, score two more points to be eligible for the opportunity card. So uh, this, the first step, the first uh, category is a degree recognition for which you will get four points. Then uh, is qualification in, in a shortage occupation. Uh, there is a list that uh, German government have, uh, have made in which you can see if your occupation or if your field or education is uh, in that list or not. If, if it's in that list, then you will get one more point. You can simply uh, uh, see this list in by clicking on this link. The next thing is professional experience. If you have a job experience of two years in the last five years, then you will get uh, two points. And, and if you have three years of professional experience in your 
a field then in the last seven years then you will get three points then is the language skills so if you have a german language of a2 then you will get one point and uh, two point for b1 and three points for b2 or higher uh, or similarly you can also show your english language skills to get some points then is the uh, category of a if you are not older than 35 you will get two points and if you are between 35 and 40 you will get only one point and then relation to german in this category is uh, if you have already uh, resided in germany in the last uh, for at least six months in the last five years then you will receive one point this uh, uh, includes stay for study language or some employment or job or but but uh, there they have mentioned that for tourist passport they, they, it will be not included in this category so you will get one point for your uh, past stay in Germany. Then joint application with your partner. So if you and your partner, your legal spouse are both are applying for opportunity card and you both are eligible, then you both will get one one points. So here by uh, these are the main requirements that I that we discuss in detail. So uh, you have to complete minimum of six points to be eligible for opportunity card. And if your degree is already recognized in Germany by in the Anabin database, then you will be directly eligible. You don't have to go to the point system. So uh, here they have mentioned in which country you are resident. They, then they will show more details. So let's see. They uh, let's see about. Uh, so uh, they have already basic requirements are similar for all the countries so the next thing is application process how you can apply so let's talk about uh, applying from pakistan uh, applying from other countries are also more or less similar so we'll, let's see about how you can apply from pakistan here this is the official website of uh, german mission in pakistan islamabad here you can see they have mentioned some some details about opportunity card number one number one is you hold a university degree which is recognized from germany so for here you have to uh, in anabi database which i already uh, mentioned a video in our channel or if it's not then you have to recognize which is which is by uh, zab system you have to show sufficient financial means which is for uh, uh, 1027 euro per month uh, then you can go multiply with 12 months 12 and then if you are coming for one year you have to show for one year of financial means then uh, you also have to show financial means for a return ticket to pakistan in the amount of 500 euro in addition to your uh, other expenses so here they have uh, given two links one for the application for visa and one is for the document checklist so let's start with the visa one uh, the visa category for opportunity card will be work visa so here they have the first step is uh, in visa application process is determine your visa category which i already told it's a work visa then it, then you have to prepare your visa application and for preparing preparation first thing is you have to book an appointment for a visa here you can see uh, some all the different work categories for opportunity card it's mentioned that the waiting time for open appointment is more than one year so uh, it's better that you can apply for a visa apply for an appointment as soon as possible because it will take more than one year to for your appointment so in that if you can apply today then you can um, then you can uh, arrange all your documents you can have your uh, language certificates or degree uh, recognition from germany etc but you have to apply for appointment as early as possible and after your application for appointment then you have to submit uh, on the day of appointment you have to submit your application and how to submit and how which documents are required for the visa and all the thing here they mention another checklist which is in the form of pdf file so you can see these are all the documents they have mentioned that you have to bring to your uh, on the appointment day first of all they have mentioned that you must present all documents mentioned in the list. Uh, please make sure to present original and prepare all documents as described. In addition, you must present one complete set of copies. So 
you have to take all the original plus one set of their uh, photocopies. Uh, so let's start with the checklist. You also have to take this uh, checklist page and by just simply clicking on that empty boxes that this document is complete or not so first of all print out of this checklist you have to click here and then is the application form for application form they have given the link uh, in the first first uh, checklist so the application form is mentioned here so let's start uh, with the application form and then we will go through uh, the other uh, documents application form is very simple you just have to give your personal details like uh, uh, in the first uh, uh, so to fill the application form it's uh, uh, very easy and you just simply have to uh, write your uh, some details about uh, your personal information like your name place of birth your marital status gender nationality etc and then your parents uh, some information like uh, names uh, nationality residence birthplace uh, date of birth and then about your profession in which profession uh, you are uh, what you are doing and uh, current employment if you are but still working you have to mention these things and then your contact details about your address and phone number and email and then identification documents your uh, passport or uh, any other document if uh, relevant so most common is a passport so you have your give information about your passport date of issue issue date issued by issue in travel document number etc and then uh, you have to give your travel dates uh, so on which date you are planning to uh, come to Germany uh, your uh, intended stay like from uh, you can simply uh, put some dates for one time period of one year and uh, purpose of stay of course you are coming for employment and then for the reference you can simply give uh, there are different type of reference that they, they can accept which is uh, person educational or credit diploma so most uh, easy one is from your educational institution or your company organization so simply you can give a reference of your some professor or your some boss from your company etc their their address their phone number these things and then about your living expenses and residence details so where you are planning to uh, stay in Germany street house number location postal code and uh, what are the means of subsidence in the Federal Republic of Germany so here you can simply uh, when you will block your amount in, in the German, uh, German government then they will give you uh, some code number here you can simply write that code number and your uh, and about your accommodation with your single room or apartment or etc and uh, should family member travel with you if yes or if not do you have a health insurance so you should have to get some uh, insurance so you can simply check it with yes and then have you been to Germany before yes or no and then some explanation about that your consent criminal record or have you ever been expelled or deported from Germany or do you suffer from any disease so no or yes and then simply you can save and uh, download and print it and then signature and simply you have to bring this with you on your appointment date. So the most important thing is the application form that is done and then second thing is passport and its copy and then ID card and copy then application declaration uh, which is already they have mentioned here the given the link which is this one. Uh, simply click on the link and they will open the application declaration so it's also a very simple thing you just have to give some your your applicant applicant declaration name your nationality and your signature and uh, if any or uh, you are if anyone else is applying on your behalf then you have to give your uh, that person information here your presentation then next document is uh, appointment confirmation email which you will get from embassy or through email you have to also uh, take the print out of that email and past visa refusal if if it's applicable and then your uh, cv and then proof of previous professional experience the language certificates 
uh, original and copy and then sufficient means of living expenses if you have done block amount then you have to get that uh, some some kind of uh, confirmation from the relevant authority and then your university degrees including transcripts both attested by HEC which is very necessary so you have to attest by HEC your degree and your transcripts and then your uh, proof of your university degree recognition if it's already recognized then you have to get two NAPIN database printouts uh simply you have to down simply you can take screenshot and you can print it and if you recognize your degree through zab then you will get a certificate and you have to uh, take that certificate with you and then uh if you are uh, some professional then you have to um, bring your practice license by computer german authority and if uh, you already stayed in Germany to have to also uh, show uh, proof of previous stay in Germany you can show your resident permit etc you also have to bring 75 euro of visa fee to be paid in PKR and then you can send simply check if it's complete or incomplete and if it's incomplete then you can send all the remaining documents by email and that your date and signature and then coming to the visa section uh, we have done uh, with the documents and then you submit your application on the day of your appointment and then you have to wait for your visa so in so with this we have covered all the details about opportunity card the requirements point system uh, how to if check if your degree is already recognized in germany and how you can recognize your degree from germany both things uh, you can watch a video on our channel and then uh, how to apply for visa and how to see how to check a list uh, checklist all the documents which is necessary for the opportunity card and visa application so this process is more or less similar for all the countries but you have to check uh, the specific details uh, for application for your country uh, from your country to apply to opportunity card into German embassy so I hope you like this video uh, if you have any question or comment uh, you can ask in the uh, comment section if you find it useful you can share it with your friends with your family